Hi Paul, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. I uh, I just want to give a private word to Western intellectuals today. Uh, whether you're a philosopher at a university or um, a sociologist or a psychologist or a scientist or but uh, you're in an academic institution and you're used to reading books and engaging in academic discussion and debate and whatever I just want to share something with you and you know sometimes much study is a weariness to the flesh it can be an, just an end and an end in itself where you've made a god out of academia and out of prestige look at me admire me I am an academic but when you die you cannot take your academia with you when you die you cannot take your academic accomplishments with you when you die your intellectual mythologies that you've created and they are mythologies all those intellectual pincer movements when you use all the various ization words with big words and little words and complex words and the interplay and intertricks or the tripping of the text or whatever it is whatever rhetoric or geo rhetoric or geo political rhetoric that you've invented for yourself with a bit of psychoanalyst here and a little bit of Marxism there and a bit of little left and a bit of bit of the right a bit of Zizak here and a bit of Nietzsche there and it's all a little concoction that you've made it's all a mythology that you've created in your mind and you need reality and the reality is you're a sinner and you need Christ it's so simple you need to get to reality back to what life is all about <coughs> life is all about Christ and loving people life is all about trusting Christ believing in him trusting in him following him serving him loving him adoring him because he said I am the way the truth and the life that is not a mythology that is the truth because he lived and he died and he rose again and he defines all your intellectual rhetoric he defines all your intellectual parameters Christ the King who lived died and rose again and you need to cut through the humbug of your intellectuality and the mythologies that you've created for yourself you do not know as an academic who you are you have lost your identity because you have created a whole cluster bomb of intellectual mythologies you're more Jung than Jung himself You're Freud with knobs on. So, will you do it? Trust the Lord. Trust Him. He says, Come to me, all you who are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon me and learn of me, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Lay down your intellectual arms and trust the Saviour. The West is on the verge of collapse. The next ten years there is going to be social, political instability in the West that it's never seen before. And in that time, you will be needed to bring some intellectual sanity. And how can you bring intellectual sanity when all you're doing is playing with mythologies that you've created? A dabbling of Freud here, a dabbling of Nietzsche here, a dabbling of Marx there, a dabbling of the latest academic journal here, there and everywhere. Put it all together and you have your little intellectual soup. That's not going to save the day. 
The only way the West is going to be saved is it comes back to the Christian roots, to the basic Christian foundations, and you can play a central role as an academic to do that, but how can you do that if you don't know the Saviour? I ask you as an academic to do one thing for me. Do the 21 day challenge. Get your New Testament out and read the Gospel of John. Chapter by chapter for 21 days. Lay all your academic stuff to one side. And say, Lord, I don't know if you're there. I think it's crazy. But if you were there, speak to me. Open my heart. Show me you're real. And read chapter by chapter with an open heart the Gospel of John. And if at the end of that chapter reading you come to know Jesus Christ and you come to trust in Him as your Lord and Saviour and you find Him as your Lord and Saviour I want you to do another thing for me. I want you to take your academic gifts and abilities and I want you to move heaven on earth and use your academic abilities in the proclamation of Jesus Christ in the academy and beyond. I want you to work hard like you've never done before in writing books for the glory of God. Alright? Thank you for listening and I hope that challenges you to think about Christ and I hope you do that 21 day challenge. Alright, take care now.